So today I'm, I'm joined by you, Patrick Bark. Are you here to tell us how much you've changed over the years? Obviously, you are the Battlefield boys and girls, <laughs> but I'm sure there's a bit more to you than just that, right? Uh, yes, uh, I think the, the, the cool thing with DICE is that I think the, the core values have been the same for more or less all the years. Uh, at least the last 10 years, we've, you know, since I started, I feel like we have the same core values. And of course, that's both a good thing and a bad thing. Uh, we still believe in what we're doing. We still believe that you know, our way of thinking is the right way of thinking when you want to create great games. And I think that's uh, hopefully some, something I get the audience to agree on. Uh, with Battlefield 3's release, there was very much an element of you know, EA and Activision going head to head, and this was a, very much a war of the, of the shooters. Do you feel that now that you kind of have spaced away from wanting to really just dominate the battlefield of first person shooters, but actually you can now just sit back and be like, actually, no, we are completely, two completely different games. We're not bothered by this anymore. I think, you know, to me, it's it's not important to you know who's the winner because to your point we are quite different it's a lot about taste it's a lot about what what you prefer but then again there are things that are similar uh, you want your game to be you know the number one shooter of course uh, but we also know that there's there's a taste in what you feel is the number one in anything it's like movies or uh, dining or whatever there's not one uh, one thing that is the ultimate best. Uh, so to us, it's more about creating the best battlefield game that we can ever create. You know, staying true to our core values and staying true to what we feel is uh, the best for the franchise. And how have you found that um, the the fans have kind of reacted to the game? Because it, it feels only yesterday that we were at GDC and you just announced it and you know we just saw some spectacular gameplay in a theatre. What's the fan reaction to, to where you were then and now? I think the, the um, how should I put it? People are still excited. People still see that uh, you know we are pushing the bar. We're trying hard to to kind of uh, do the best possible game uh, that we can possibly do. Uh, I think in in general the the pressure is still very very high. We haven't really seen people easing off from the focus. Then again. Uh, with Battlefield 3, we set a, quite a high bar. Uh, we know it's hard to beat that Delta uh, again, since uh, Battlefield 3 um, was in development for quite some time. Um, we feel like we had a lot of new things that we wanted to introduce uh, to the game and to the franchise without disturbing the core of the game. You don't want people to feel uh, kind of alienated by, you know, crazy features and crazy changes to the game, uh, but rather uh, being very, very thorough in, in tuning and tweaking and, and um, uh, changing things, uh, so the game actually just feels better. Um, I think the biggest change, uh, even though you mentioned that you know, the visual spectacle is, is even greater, uh, the, the bigger changes are actually under the hood. The focus has been to make the game more fun to play, uh, more engaging, deeper, um, and of course, uh, you know, more intuitive. So there's been a lot of work that people might not see when they see a screenshot or when they see a, a trailer or, or um, moving footage. Um, because it's when you pick the controller up, and especially on the Gen 4 consoles, that's when you really see the big change in Battlefield 4. Because I'm glad you bring up um, the, ch you know, when Battlefield 3 released, you really did raise it. Look, it still looks stunning, and it, it played like no other Battlefield game before. And it stood out obviously because it'd been so long since Battlefield 2 had happened. Did you kind of wish you, you had the same sort of impact again? Because obviously that when 3 came out, it was a huge impact. It was incredible. Um, and if you'd given it four years, or let's say, and we, you would have released Battlefield 4 it would have had that same effect again. You've kind, you have kind of um, you know, knocked on the door twice in the, in the state of two years. Yeah. And I think that's, uh, that's uh, a very hard call to make. You know, either you, you update your game to make it better uh, and it's, um, you, know, you, take, you take a big step forward, but it's not a giant leap every time because we know that time will you know, increase the hunger. 
Uh, so it tastes better when it comes out if, if time has passed. Uh, people are still playing Battlefield 3. And that you could argue that that's a problem for us, that it's, it's still a very popular game and people have been playing for two years. And people say, oh, you're already releasing a new game. It's like, it's been two years. It's actually quite a long time. Uh, and I think the, the, the problem we're seeing is based on the fact that Battlefield 3 is still very popular. If people would have forgotten about it already, it would, would have been easy to, to knock down the door. Um, but then again, you know, you, we want to make the best possible game we can. And two years, to me, is at least a very long time.